make the case for the Raiders still like having a good postseason. Oh, let's do it. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> There's two differences to me between this year's Raiders team and last year's Raiders team, okay. and what's really taken them to a new level. One, just Carr's evolution. He's been yeah. so much better, and that is the biggest thing. The other part is that last year, they had a really good pass-blocking offensive line, but it was a finesse group. Mm -hmm. They go out, they give Clutch of some way all of the money in the world. <laughs> and I was actually there talking to those guys this week. He changed that group. Yeah. He rubbed off on every single one of them and turned mm. that line into a bunch of mauling monsters. So that's his philosophy is yeah. just destroy He's guy. just a crusher. Okay. And I think that their ability to really line up and beat people up on the ground is different than it was a year ago. And now and we, they go three deep at the running back position. And that's the thing. Now you add Jalen Richard, you yeah. add DeAndre Washington, Murray, plus those pass catchers, it just feels like even without Carr, there's enough on that side of the ball for them to put up some points. Can McGloin throw the deep ball that's been the kind of backdoor for the Raiders all year where it's like when things are getting tight, when it's getting third and fourth quarter and Carr would just throw those like 20 <laughs> yard Rick yeah, that you right. can do. It's and just like kind of just say, hey, you know, you you, you guys, you're, you're two of the best receivers in the league, go get it. I mean, I don't think he's going to be, he's not going to have the same level as Carr, clearly. Um, but I mean, like you said, they have two guys that can win man outside, you yeah. know? Um, and Crabtree's kind of had some big drops lately, but he's still a very, very talented guy. Still yeah. kind of guy that uses his size well. And then Cooper is like one of the best route runners in the NFL. He can leave guys in the dust. I think he could come up big in the playoffs. I don't know. He just seems like the kind of guy who could, with Carr being gone, kind of emerge as, as carrying the offense a little bit. So if you're the Raiders, I mean, obviously getting a bye is great. Getting, you know, but but do you just want to kind of get McGloin like right in there? Or I mean, I want the bye. Yeah, I, I think that <laughs> like, anytime you can not play a game. In the, basement. <laughs> the problem is that if they, the way it looks right now, if they do get the bye, it looks like they'll probably play Pittsburgh and. That just, I don't know if they have the firepower. I think against a lot of teams, they have enough to score enough points. But if that Pittsburgh offense is rolling, and against that Oakland defense, it might be, yeah. I think that's going to be a tough sell.